before I head on out, I want to toss these new sheets into the wash. I got these off of Amazon. They're just like floral sheets, which I think will look so good on my bed because I've been wanting a pop of color on my bed. But every time I tried to add throat pillows, it just completely threw off the look. And I've tried so many options and I realized that it's definitely my bedding because obviously my duvet is bright white and then same with my pillows and everything. But then you look at my sheets and they're this like creamy ivory color and same with my headboard. It's like an ivory white. And so there's just too many shades of white going on, which looks kind of tacky. So I'm gonna get rid of those sheets and then place it with these and kind of switch up the pillow situation Probably only do all white pillows I got these from home goods and I really don't like them So I'm gonna return them because I kept the tag and I just am not liking how those look and I definitely want to like slim down The height of the pillows. I think that'll really help just like a very cozy all white bedding type of vibe And then obviously these sheets for a little pop of color Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. I just got to Orange Theory and it's actually hell week this week. So today is day three and it's my third workout also. So I've been doing back to back, which I know sounds a little bit crazy. First day of hell week, I hadn't gone to Orange Theory for a week and I was like, or a week, a month. And I was like, oh my goodness, I felt that. Like that was such a challenging workout. And then yesterday it wasn't too bad, but today is going to be a doozy. I know it because it's a 23 minute it run which for me I'm just gonna incline power walk so that shouldn't be too bad but because it's an endurance day that means on the floor it's just continuous reps so I'm a little nervous but I'm excited hell week is my favorite week of orange theory because the workouts are very challenging but it makes it super fun and all of that so it's not only a physical battle but a mental battle and I don't know how I ended up getting here early because I'm like five minutes early so it's not too early, but I rushed out my door this morning and left later than I typically do, but I made all the green lights. I even had to stop at the gas station to get gas, which only took two minutes out because I just filled it up enough to like get me here. I have a really bad habit of filling my tank up, or I mean driving until I have like 10 miles left until empty, which is not a good habit to be in. I'm aware, <laughs> not good for my car either. My dad hates that I do that, but I'm like, it's like my least favorite task going to the gas station. Anywho, let's go get the workout in and have a great the rest of our Thursday. Ignore the fact I look like a sweaty mess right now, but that was a solid workout. I love endurance days, but I kind of like hate them at the same time because I don't like the cardio side of it. But like I said, I'll just hop on the treadmill, walk on an incline and keep the same speed for like the entire time. So I did 14% today at 3.4. I was like, Ooh, okay, feeling a little spicy today. And I just kind of tune out the coach and I'm like so in my zone and I just think about other things. Like today I was thinking about my to-do list and everything that I have to get done this morning. So I want to prioritize work definitely because I have a few tickets talks that I need to film and then a brand deal to edit so that I can send that over this afternoon and then a couple of errands. I really need to go to Target random because I actually broke my hairbrush last night. <laughs> Sounds intense but yeah literally my hairbrush just cracked and I was like nice solid. So I have to go to Target get a new one of those and I also just want to browse around for a little bit. Target is like therapy okay. Therapy dupe. Target and home goods. Also I need to head to Goodwill drop off a bag of clothes. I've been cleaning out my closet like crazy. It feels so good to just declutter and get rid of clothes that I no longer wear anymore and just are taking up space and cluttering it. I really don't like having just a bunch of stuff that I don't wear. So I've been cleaning that out and have probably gone to Goodwill within the last three weeks, like three or four times to drop off bags of clothes. So that's great. I also really would love to record my podcast today because I've gotten so many sweet DMs of you guys wanting to see more of the podcast and hearing it like weekly. And I keep saying that I'm going to upload a podcast weekly, but to be honest, you guys, I've been dealing with self-sabotaging as a roadblock for so long and I'm really trying to battle it. It's one of those things where it's shown up so much within these last six months and it's one of those things where I think I need to like go seek therapy for it. I've never opened up about this because honestly it's one of my 
my biggest insecurities to admit that I feel this way and I talk to myself in my head this way because I'll constantly compare even where I'm at in life to where maybe some of my friends are at or the lifestyle that I live compared to some of the lifestyles that I consume on social media and I'll sabotage everything that I do because I'm like oh I'm not there or I'm not as successful as that person and then I think why would somebody consume my content why it's I don't even want to go down the rabbit hole it's just such a toxic headspace and it has really affected my mental health recently and affected my work and just like how I show up and it's sad like it really makes me sad to think that this is the things I tell myself and I want to read some books about it and listen to some podcasts about how to transform my mindset so that I don't think in this self-sabotaging type of way and I know it's not a one-step fix it's gonna take a while to really transform that mindset but I think it's something that is so important for me to work on and I could seek therapy like I said but I think right now I just want to work on it on my own and kind of share the journey with you guys read books listen to those podcasts Podcast and really make it an effort every single day to transform my mindset because it's tough and it is such a roadblock and I hate to admit it but it's prevented me from doing so many different things with my social media or sharing certain things and I hate that and it has really affected obviously my creativity so that was a tangent but it's honestly just where my head has been at and I feel weird for like admitting this right now but it's tough and I think especially like being in your mid-20s I mean it can happen at any age but I think right now it's just such a pivotal time for me to experience this because I have friends of all walks of life right now doing so many different things so you're constantly comparing yourself to those people or people you see online like we're inundated with so much content daily and you see inside of people's lives that you wouldn't see without social media you know so it just makes it 10 times harder yeah that's kind of where my headspace has been at recently so anyways we're gonna change it around and and really work at it these next few months. I'm gonna head home, shower up, and then we'll get started on some work. These sheets look so freaking cute. I'm really glad I got those. I can link them down below. I just found them on Amazon. But I decided I'm probably gonna keep these big pillows that I got from Home Goods because they have like a very dainty vibe to them, which helps match with the florals and everything. I'm gonna switch out these pillows because the pillow shams are probably what's throwing me off since they're like skin tight to the pillow themselves. So if I got like more of an oversized pillow sham, I think that would match the comfy like coziness that I'm going for for the bed. Also, let me know what you think I should do for the duvet because I want more of like a very very thick cloudy type of duvet cover. I've seen like a ton of Pinterest boards and like people on TikTok have the most cozy cloudy looking beds and that's what I want. I don't know if it's my duvet insert, it probably is, but I honestly don't think it's that bad, but I think it could be the, just the duvet itself because it's linen. So let me know if you have any recommendations for different duvet inserts or duvet covers that will really give that like puffy cloud like look to it. Also, I want to get like a chunky knit throw that I can put down here, like a big chunky knit throw and probably like an all white one to add some texture and everything but so far I'm loving it it's so cute but now I'm gonna get to recording my podcast I just set everything up and I have my notes over here on my iPad I don't usually make an outline for the podcast episodes because I like them to be very stream of conscious and just top of mind but today I'm gonna be chatting about five different ways to show up for yourself so I wanted to make sure I had all those five different things written down to reference but I'm so excited for this episode so I'll definitely be sure to link it down below for you guys so you can tune in anywhere that you get your podcast I just finished up work for the day. Recording the podcast took me so much longer than I thought. It always takes a little bit to get back into the swing of recording and get the hang of it again after taking like a couple weeks off with it, but I'm glad I got that recorded and I'll probably start editing it tonight. Then I was catching up with my sister on FaceTime and now I'm at the mall. I have a return to do at Zara. I got a lot of things the other day at Zara for like when I go home to Minnesota, some winter things and stuff, and I didn't try anything on in store because I hate trying on clothes. I have to be in the mood to like try things on when I'm shopping, but I just wanted to buy a bunch 
bunch of things and then if it didn't work out i would just return it so a few of the things i'm gonna return i got like so many cute fall jackets they have a lot of stuff right now for example this one which i'm gonna return because i decided to get it in the cropped version instead and then head to target because i need to get a new hairbrush since mine it freaking cracked which is weird but anyways i'm gonna do that and then we'll head back make some dinner i think tonight for dinner i'm gonna make chicken greek bowls that sounds really good and i have this super good like greek dressing from trader joe's that i have yet to use so it's kind of on the agenda tonight even though i like hate making chicken i don't know why but it freaks me out so we'll do that tonight because i used to make those in college and they were so good For dinner tonight i just set everything out for the greek chicken bowls this is one of my favorite recipes it's essentially just at home kava and it's so good i haven't made it in forever but it's so easy so for the bed of the bowl i'll just do some brown rice arugula and then add all of the toppings we got tomatoes cucumber i love pickled onions they're my favorite so always have to add those you don't need to if you don't like onions and then i like feta cheese on top and this creamy garlic cucumber dip from trader joe's haven't tried this yet on my greek bowl so i'm really looking forward to how that adds to it typically i'll do just like like hummus or plain Greek yogurt to give that tzatziki style, but I'm really excited to try that out. And then over here, I just have some chicken marinating and some olive oil, garlic powder, and this seasoning that I get from Trader Joe's. This is such an essential. It's so good. It has like the perfect hint of lemon and pepper to it. It's the za'atar seasoning. So just sprinkle that over the chicken and then we'll get to sauteing it. You're joking me this literally looks so freaking good and honestly cooking the chicken was not bad at all typically i like burn it really badly which is how it always turns out so bad but i cooked it to perfection and it tastes so good i love it i'm excited to try this trader joe's like tzatziki dip because i've never had it before oh my god that was probably the best greek bowl i've ever made hands down so good and i have leftovers too which is the best I just finished heading up the kitchen. I always like to do this every night before I go to bed, no matter how tired I'm feeling, because it makes the biggest difference to wake up in the morning to a clean and just fresh kitchen. So I wiped the counters down, took out the trash and everything, and have like a clean sink. It's the best, but I'm gonna make myself some tea and kind of just wind down for the night and probably watch a show on Netflix or something because that's been my little routine, either that or waiting before bed. But honestly, feeling pretty tired so to me this is the epitome of feeling content i have my tea i'm about to watch an episode of gilmore girls this is like my nightly ritual you guys know i'll usually watch an episode or in reality like half an episode and then i get tired and head to bed it's about 
10.40 right now. So I'm gonna finish this up and then probably head to bed quite soon here because tomorrow I have quite a busy day and honestly a busy weekend in general. So I'm heading to Orlando tomorrow, which I'm really excited. One of my best friends is visiting one of her friends in town. So I'm gonna go spend the day slash night with them tomorrow. And then Saturday morning, I'm gonna drive back. I have a birthday brunch for one of my friends and then her birthday dinner that night. And it's crazy because it's Halloween weekend, which was such a big deal back in college. My sister was FaceTiming me and she was showing me like all of her costumes for the weekend. She was getting ready and everything. And it's just like the hype around it is so fun. And I just remember you would have like two or three costumes for the weekend. And this is the first year that I haven't dressed up or like honestly really done anything for Halloween because tomorrow, like I said, I'll be going to Orlando. So there's no reason to get a costume for that because I'll be with my friends and I think we're going to a hockey game actually. So I'm really looking forward to seeing her, which will be nice. And then then on Saturday, it's my friend's birthday and we are just gonna wear like cute little dresses for dinner and everything. And I think we might go out after or something. So that's kind of the plan for the weekend. And then Sunday will just be a very chill, relaxing Sunday. But yeah, I honestly do not like Halloween. So I'm really happy that there's no pressure around making or having plans. It's just never really been my thing. That and New Year's are like the two holidays that I just dread, but to each their own. They just have not been my favorite. What are your guys' favorite holidays? For me, it's hands down, obviously Christmas. And then following Christmas, it's probably, I wanna say either like Easter or Thanksgiving or the 4th of July. The 4th of July is really fun too. So I'd probably say Christmas and the 4th of July. And then I always say my birthday. My birthday is like number one, you know, that's a national holiday. Just kidding. But the hype around Halloween is definitely, I'd say overhyped, especially in college. I just remember the stress of like throwing together a bunch of last minute costumes and never knowing what the heck I was gonna be. And you like compare your outfits and costumes to all of your friends and you're like, oh my God, what do we do? Like, where do I be? And you obviously wanna look hot and look good and feel good and impress freaking Brad at the bar. And I never did that, but you know what? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Um, but anyways, I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all so much and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye guys.